How's it going folks? It is Matt back with another crypto video. I've had a lot of viewers asking me for this, so today I'm going to walk you through step by step how to start logging into all of your websites using the DigiID slash Antum ID plugin created by Antum ID. That includes your favorite websites such as Facebook, Twitter, and for crypto enthusiasts, even Coinbase. Yes, that's right. Coinbase may not have listed Digibyte yet, but you can log into your Coinbase account using Digibyte technology. So before you get started, you may be asking, what do I need to use to start logging in using DigiID Anthem ID? There are two things you must first download. First one being the application on your mobile phone. There are two options to select from. You can use one, you can use the other, or you could choose to use both for different websites if you chose to. The first application is DigiID slash Anthem ID, which is available on Android and very soon will be available on iOS. The second option you have is DigiID Simple, which is available on Android. Now these both allow you to log into your websites uh, without the need for remembering passwords. There are some subtle differences between the two. DigiID slash Anthem ID allows you to manually generate a Digi password where you simply type in the uh, URL of the website you're trying to log into and a password will be generated for you. Whereas the DigiID Simple has a feature that has floating widget manager for mobile devices. The other subtle difference between these two applications, DigiID Anthem ID, the backup phrase is stored offline by the user. It's a 24 word seed phrase that the user is responsible for writing down and saving in safe place in case they need to recover their account. The DigiID simple application, the seed phrase is backed up on Google encrypted cloud services, which means the user does not need to write down a seed phrase. The user does not need to store that seed phrase in a safe place as it is stored in the Google encrypted cloud. So DigiID Simple does sacrifice a little bit on security by having the seed phrase stored in the Google Cloud, but it increases user friendliness dramatically, which is a great thing for new users or new adopters. Certainly people who are already in the crypto space are already familiar with writing down seed phrases and saving them, so they may lean toward the DigiID slash Anthem ID application, but for newer users, DigiID Simple may be the perfect solution. So to download the applications for Android, head over to the Google Play Store, type in DigiID Simple, or you can type in DigiID slash Anthem ID. This is what both of the applications look like. You simply need to install the application on your cell phone. Once the application is installed on your cell phone, you can, whichever browser you're using, the extension works on all major browsers, Chrome, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Brave Browser, all browsers that use Chromium and some others. So in this example, I'm going to use Google Chrome. So I'm heading over to the Chrome web store. In the search bar, I've typed in DigiID slash Anthem ID. You'll need to do the same thing if you're using Firefox, Microsoft Edge, or whatever browser you're using, head to the App Store, Web Store, whatever, type in DigiID slash Anthem ID, and you should see these two options. There is the basic version, and there is the advanced version. I highly encourage you to install the advanced version as it increases user friendliness. So once you have downloaded the application on your cell phone and you have downloaded the extension on Google Chrome or whatever browser you're using, you'll see the extension up here in the top corner. It is the blue button that has the thumbprint in it. That is to use DigiID slash Anthem ID. If I wanted to log into Facebook, I would simply click on that up in the extension and a QR code will be generated for me to scan and that will create my password. So first, I'm going to show you how to use the DigiID Simple application for logging into your websites. So this is what the home screen of DigiID Simple looks like. And for the first time you use it, you need to give the application uh, access or allow it to send your password to the browser on your computer. So to do that, you down here in the corner, type on or click on uh, Password Helper to turn that on. Once you have done that, you will be sent to this menu to allow it permission. You click on that to give it permission to do so. Then this menu will pop up. You simply hit go. And then down here at the bottom of this menu, you'll see installed services. You click on that. 
then you see Digi ID simple. You see that it is turned off. This will not allow you to send passwords if it is off. So you click on that and you toggle this from off to on, and then you are all set up to start using the applica application. And again, that's a one time thing. So once you have turned this password helper on, you're good to start logging into all of the websites that you're trying to log into. So again, back, coming back to Facebook, if I wanted to log into Facebook, I would click on the extension up here that generates the QR code. So I, then I would pull out my cell phone. This is the main menu of Digi ID Simple. You would click this giant thumbprint right here to access the uh, camera on your cell phone to scan that QR code. Once you have scanned the QR code, Digi ID Simple will prompt you to verify your biometric authentication, which is your thumbprint. So uh, once you verify your thumbprint and your phone recognizes that you are the one trying to sign in, it will generate a password for your Facebook account. So I have blanked out my password here, but this is where the password will show up. And then you simply click send to have your password sent from your cell phone to your computer. Once you click send, you'll get a Digi password success transmission complete. And then uh, you will be logged into your account. So now I'm going to show you how to use the other phone application, DigiID slash AntomID, and these steps are pretty much the same. It's very similar in concept. Once I have generated my QR code on Facebook or whatever website I'm trying to log into, I pull out my cell phone, pull up DigiID slash AntomID, I click on this massive thumbprint, it will start scanning for a QR code, I'll scan the QR code on my computer. And then it will bring you to this menu. You simply click on the thumbprint down here to verify with your thumbprint or with this application you set up a four digit PIN number when you create the app so you could either verify your identity with that four digit PIN number or verify your identity with your thumbprint. So once your identity is verified, it again will generate a password for you. I've blanked it out and then to send that password from your cell phone to Facebook or whatever website you're logging into, you click on this button right here that says send. So once it is sent, you get the success notification and your password will be automatically populated into Facebook. So now that I have explained the process to you guys, I'm going to uh, just show you how fast it actually is. I know there's, it seems like there's a lot of steps to it and it may seem confusing, but once you actually do it, it's extremely fast and it's extremely easy to use. So uh, first I'm going to generate my QR code here. Now I'm actually using the DigiID slash Anthem ID application, scanning the QR code now, verifying with my thumbprint, sending the password, and as you can see, my password has already been populated here. So it's just literally a matter of like two seconds, three seconds. It's definitely faster than if I were to type a password of this length. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you found it informative and helpful. And uh, I'll see you guys later.